Hey guys, hope you're all having a great day. So in today's video, I'm going to be managing an issue that I have had with this birch tree for the last few years. If you've been following my videos, when we moved into this house in 2020, we planted this birch tree in the summer, and ever since it has had issue after issue after issue. This tree suffers from birch blight every year and is actually completely defoliated before the fall has come. So this tree is just leafed out for the season. It has nice green leaves, no issues with it whatsoever. However, what usually happens every year is black spots will develop, which is the birch blight. The leaves turn yellow and they'll drop to the ground. A couple of weeks ago when this tree leafed out, I sprayed it with copper fungicide to prevent any birch blight from occurring this season. And I'm going to continuously spray it as the directions state on the packaging. However, there's also a podcast that I listen to called Gardening Simplified, where you can submit questions and even pictures when you do have gardening questions. So I asked them about this tree. I sent a few pictures of the birch blight. And one thing they mentioned is that the tree actually might have been planted too low to the ground. So here is what the base of the tree looks like. When you do plant a tree in the ground, it's really important that you don't plant it too deep as it can prevent proper root flare from developing from the tree and it can girdle it from the bottom. So they looked at this picture and they believe that I planted this tree a little too deep when I first put it in. It's been a few years and it has developed a bit of a root system, but I think it's early enough that I can still dig it out of the ground, lift it up and hopefully prevent other issues from occurring. By doing so, this tree will hopefully be healthier than it was before and a healthier tree is a lot more resistant to other issues in the future, like birch blight. So today what we're gonna do with this tree is remove these stakes and lift it up. Since there's a bit of a hole to fill, there's a couple things I'm going to be using. I have a bag of composted manure and a bag of topsoil that'll help fill in that hole. And then we're also gonna add some biotone starter fertilizer. When we take the birch tree out of the ground, we're gonna be removing a good portion of the roots and the biotone starter fertilizer has mycorrhizae in it, which will encourage fast root production and hopefully get this birch back on track pretty quick. I'm gonna have to water it throughout this entire season since we are lifting it out of the ground, but hopefully that biotone starter fertilizer will help as well. Okay, so we are all done, and I do have a couple of things to share with you, but I feel so much better about this birch tree. So here's what the tree looks like. Now the tree did grow a tiny bit crooked um, before we even bought it. So it does look a little crooked, but we did try to plant it as straight as possible. But if I kind of show you from further away, you can see just how high off the ground it is now. It's probably like a foot or so off the ground. It really didn't have that many roots, but we tried to save as many as we possibly could and actually replant them. Um, but we do have this on a slow trickle. Um, so we're gonna leave the water on here. It's supposed to rain all day tomorrow So it's actually great that it's gonna rain hopefully not be windy and for the next week or so I'll probably keep it on a slow trickle just to make sure that this is okay Especially because it did just leaf out so it needs a lot more water than beforehand You can actually see how much higher off of the ground that it was planted and this is about where it was 
This hole that you see is actually the rootstock where this plant was grafted on, and it's really important that you don't cover this, and I had it covered, so now I know. I also have this solar light here, which I just have the wire going underneath the mulch over there, because this is a truly stunning tree when it is leafed out in the season, and it's only going to look even more pretty. Now, I'm sure you're probably wondering what happened to the rest of the plants that I had around there, and I actually did end up saving all of them. I hope they'll survive in their new spots, but let me show you. So I have this Japanese umbrella pine right here that I also actually had to lift up when we started making this bed. Um, but I have one, two, three, four denim and lace Russian sage. So I think these will do pretty well here. I just cut these back and I think that they get full sun here. So I think that they'll fill in this space quite nicely. And now it might be hard to see, but I actually transplanted all those tulips to the front yard. So we have this front space over here. Um, we had a smaller grouping of tulips, but all of the, like this group here and this group here were transplanted. And then on this side, I think I just added them kind of over here and you know spread out throughout here I, I can't remember exactly which ones are old and which one are new which is kind of a good thing so that's all i'm going to do for this birch tree for now um, like i said i'm going to continuously spray it with the copper fungicide i just have to read the directions to see how long in between i have to wait um, and then we're just going to water it really well the whole rest of the summer and make sure that this tree can stay alive maybe put on a little bit of growth this year i'm not expecting it to do anything crazy um, and hopefully do much better than it did last year. So besides that, I hope you guys like this video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section down below, and I will see you in the next video.